as you can see here I got my finished bed rail you should have two of these um, but I solid welded this junction here so you got your two pieces at a 90 and then I ground this off into a nice radius so if you want to do that go ahead if you got a beautiful weld right here that you want to leave also totally fine another thing to make these look more professional and also be safer is if you round off the outside corners so as you can see I rounded off both of these gives it a nice finished look and just makes it a little more professional next up we're going to set this on the pickup and then we're going to tack everything together and we're about okay so the way you're going to do this is um, you're going to put this on your actual pickup to do this that just ensures that it's going to be the perfect fit after you get this all welded together i do not have a pickup but we're just going to pretend that these that i have welded here are the bed rails of your pickup so you got your left side of your pickup and the right side of the pickup this is towards the back of your pickup and the tailgate so pull your pickup in the shop and once you have it in there go ahead and set your bed rails on the actual bed rails of your pickup and clamp them down so again these are your imaginary bed rails that i have this is going to be your actual pickup go ahead and set them on there get them clamped down so once you have them clamped on your bed rails where you want them you're gonna get the upper part of your rack and set it on here and after that I'm going to show you how to tack it on square so so get your rack set on your your bed rails and then center it side to side so make sure you got the same amount of of bed rail poking out each side. It should be approximately half an inch, give or take probably a sixteenth. After you get it centered, we're going to tack this thing on. Alright, so as you can see, I got my bed rails clamped to the bed rail of this would be your pickup obviously it's not here but in real life you're going to have these clamped to your pickup and your rack set on top of your bed rails centered side to side so they should have an equal space right here this is probably going to be about half an inch you're going to need that on both sides so the next thing we're going to do is tack this tack this on and i'm going to show you how to do this to make sure you get it square so grab your gussets that you should have received in the mail and we're going to use this as our square as these are machine made so they will be perfectly squared when you get them in the mail so um, as far as the distance goes between you know if you want it flush with the edge or if you want a little bit inset i like putting mine right at the edge of the radius it gives a nice edge for you to fill with your bead but if you want to do it if you want to do it flush you want to do it a little deeper it's totally up to you um, so um, the way to do this is you're going to want to have a small gap right here, like just so you can barely see daylight coming through here. And then I'm going to tack this gusset in two positions. I'm going to tack it here and here. And then if we need to pull the rack into square at all, we can still kind of tilt this rack. And then we will tack this third weld once we have our, our actual rack squared. So I'm going to tack weld these first two. Okay, so I got these ones tacked, and then lastly, you're just gonna use your use your gusset to make sure that this rack is square with your bed. So just kind of pull this as you need to until this comes into square. If your saw is set correctly and it cuts perfectly at a 90, then you should I mean you shouldn't have to move this around too much. So after you get your three position tack here, go ahead and go do the same on the other side. Don't solid weld this until you have your other side tacked um, just to make sure the whole, the whole rack isn't tweaked. So go to the other side and do the same thing. 
and then once you have both sides tacked, you can solid weld. You're going to solid weld all the way around your rack frame, all the way here, all the way down, and you don't need to do the back side. So just all the way around your tube, solid weld here, solid weld here. And then after here I'm going to show you how to install your gussets if you got the toolbox gussets that look like this, these are just for wider clearance so that you can make sure to fit a toolbox if you already have an existing one you want to install. So here I have my um, bed rails for my rack and these should be clamped the actual bed rails of your pickup for the example of this video they aren't but again you're doing all this on your actual pickup to ensure proper fit. So the first thing we're going to do for the toolbox gussets is use your square to square up your rack like I have here so mine's pretty square but if it isn't just kind of pull it into square and then you're going to want to do two tack welds on both sides. So as you can see I got both of these corners tack welded. You're going to want to do that on the other side as well before you install the actual gussets. So once you have, my other side is already tack welded, so then we're going to put the gusset into place. And it's kind of up to you as far as the placement of how f back or towards the front or back you want it. I kind of like it near the back. I think it looks a little nicer, but again, the, the position is totally up to you. So once you have your rack squared, you're just going to tack this in three positions here, here, and here. So after you got your gusset tacked into place, you're going to want to repeat that for the other side. Once you got both of them tacked, you're going to solid weld these in. Um, so you just put a bead right down here and then here as well and then weld all the way around the outside outer tube of your rack. All right, after you got your um, gussets tacked in three ways on both sides, you're going to go ahead and solid weld everything. As you can see here, I've already done that. Got a solid weld around my whole tube, one here and one here, nothing on the back side. And once you get done with that, congratulations, you're finished building this thing. So you can send it to powder coat or paint or whatever finish you choose. The next video is just going to be some tips and tricks on wiring your lights in. So if you know how to wire already and you got that covered, just disregard the next video. But if you want some helpful tricks on just how to make wiring and everything go faster, I'm going to show you how to wire in. Um, these work LED lights, the marker lights, as well as your strip turn LED tail lights. So if you're needing some advice on that, go to the next video. If not, thank you so much for your participation in this course, and I hope your rack looks awesome.